My name is Emily Kern, Math Instructional Coach in Austin, Texas. Let's look at what is the length of a rectangular prism. A prism is a 3D figure that has two parallel bases that are polygons. These are examples of rectangular prisms because their bases are rectangles. Prisms are three-dimensional, which means that they have a length, a width, and a height. And a lot of times, people get confused about which one's the length and the width and the height. But in a rectangular prism, it doesn't really matter. If this is the length, this can be the width and that can be the height. If I rotate it, this could be the length, the width, and the height. So as long as you use all three dimensions, then it doesn't matter which of the three are your length. The volume of a rectangular prism is found by multiplying the length times width times height, or LWH. If you know the volume and the width and the height, and you're trying to find the length of the rectangular prism, multiply your width and your height, and then divide the volume by that value. The answer is going to be the length of your rectangular prism. The length of a rectangular prism is one of the three dimensions that we use to describe it, of length, width, and height. On a rectangular prism, the length can actually be any one of the three dimensions. Just make sure you're consistent when using it. Mm -hmm.